Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm with eWrench. This video is about how to create a remote desktop connection from Windows 7 to Ubuntu 12.04. In a remote desktop connection, the machine you're connecting from is called the client. The computer you're connecting to is called a server. This video is how to turn Ubuntu 12.04 into a remote desktop connection server. The outcomes for this video are to install a program called XRDP in Ubuntu 12.04. We're going to create a .x session file because with RDP or Remote Desktop Connection going from 3D to 2D doesn't uh, translate very well. And finally, we're going to connect from Windows 7 to Ubuntu 12.04. Requirements. Windows 7, any edition. Any edition of Windows 7 will serve as a client. If you are using Windows 7 as a, the server, which means another machine connects to the home edition will not work as a server, but any edition of Windows 7 will work as a client. Ubuntu 12.04 desktop. Both systems should be on the same LAN or local area network. This video only covers Windows 7 to Ubuntu 12.04 remote desktop connection. does not cover any network connections where you're going to have to really uh, configure a router or, or some other things, open ports and those kinds of things. And both systems should use the same keyboard mapping. That means that if you have one computer that uses U.S. and one computer that uses German, it's not going to work unless you do some kind of switch and, and make sure that they both use the same, both use both computers use German uh, on the keyboard or both computers use English on the keyboard. Additional info is how to use remote desktop connection connection against Ubuntu 12.04. There's a lot of good information there including how to do keyboard mapping. And then if you want to use another program that's a little more involved, there's X11 RDP. There's a whole site about how to use that. Remote Desktop Connection use a protocol developed by Microsoft called RDP which is short for Remote Desktop Protocol. In order for your Ubuntu desktop to understand this protocol, it's necessary to install software on your Ubuntu machine that understands RDP. A program that understands RDP is XRDP. So we'll go to the software, Ubuntu Software Center, and look for XRDP in the search box. And here it is, Remote Desktop Protocol Server. Look for more info if you wish. And it allows you to install some additional uh, software, but we're just going to be concerned which tight VNC server uses a different protocol called VNC and Remote Desktop Protocol Server can actually use a number of different uh, uh, protocols. But anyway, so we're going to go install here. Of course, you've got your authentication. And it's installed. So basically, we close this. Now, when Windows machines talk to each other using remote desktop, any user that is logged on is automatically kicked off. What XRDP does is create an additional logon or X window, but allows the original user to remain logged on. Unfortunately, XRDP cannot translate the Ubuntu 3D screen to a Windows 7 remote desktop connection. The workaround is to create a file named .x session in each user's home directory that you want to allow to log on to your Ubuntu desktop. So in Nautilus, we're going to create a blank file in our home directory called X session. So we'll go to home folder or Nautilus, open it up. And here we are in a home directory, but we're going to view all the files, show the hidden files. And we'll see that we've got some X authority, X session errors, but and we're going to create a new document and it's going to be an empty document and we're going to name it dot x session hit enter once we've got it named 
Let's we'll scroll down. Here it is. And we're going to open it. And with the default editor, get it. I'm going to put the following text in there. GNOME dash session space dash dash session equal Ubuntu spell that correctly dash 2D. Once we have this, we simply save the file and we close it. So that's all that's required to allow a Windows 7 machine to connect to uh, Ubuntu 12.04 using a remote desktop connection. And here we have our two machines side by side, the Windows 7, which we're going to use as a client, and our Ubuntu desktop, which we're going to use as a remote desktop connection server. In order for us to connect, uh, for the client to connect to the server, we need to know the IP address or name of this machine. And we're just going to open up a terminal, do an ifconfig. I could use a name, but I don't have a domain name server, so it may not be found. Uh, with ifconfig, I can get the IP address, which is 192.168.1.57. To use remote desktop, it's listed in all programs, accessories, remote desktop connection, and 192.168. Point one point fifty seven. You do not have to do any setup here in Windows, and you can even do this with Windows Home, because as long as you're using it as a client, uh, Windows Home will not use remote desktop connection as a server. That is coming the other way around. So we'll connect. And we'll say yes, and so we'll just put in Mike our password. You've gotten that. Now the first thing you'll notice is that these icons are larger and that's because we're in a 2D session. This this machine is set up for 3D and in 3D you can change the size of the icons to a smaller size whereas you can't do that in a 2D session. So let's open up something here. LibreOffice and we'll say type in is a remote desktop session go to files save as remote desktop session we'll click save we'll go file exit over here going back to our uh, other machine we'll go to our home folder and since we've logged in as the same person we'll go to documents and we'll see that it's got remote desktop session right here LibreOffice opens and there we go that's how you uh, remote use remote desktop uh, from a Windows 7 to an Ubuntu 12.04 uh, thank you